All right, so let's take this slightly more complicated Boolean expression and turn it into a digital uh, circuit uh, representation. So again, we're going to consider that this entire expression is S, so that's going to be our output. Um, and to save space, I'm not going to write it all out there, but that's what we have. Our inputs are the uh, set of variables that we have here. So we have P, Q, and R represented. So I'll just go ahead and put a P, a Q, and an R on the left-hand side. And those are going to be our inputs. So it's just a matter of filling in what's in the middle. Uh, like I've shown you before, the way I like to do uh, these problems is from the output toward the input. So let's look at the output. The output is actually three items ORed together. So we have this P or Q, ORed with not P and R, ORed with just a Q. So we need to OR three things together. Um, and since the order of operations here doesn't matter, we can, um, yeah, we can choose which ones to do. So um, we could say, for example, let's take the OR of Q and um, the, we'll or that with the, uh, I guess the, the bigger statement that I'm going to put in parentheses here on the left. So again, to save space, I'm not going to write that all out. I'm going to attempt to draw a better or diagram. There we go. Um, and now what we need to do to or these together is we need to or two um, the two kind of uh, components. So we have P or not Q, and we have not P and not R. So uh, to build these then, we're going to build these in the same way we built other ones. Um, we, uh, let's take the, the bottom one first. Um, so in fact, let's move that down here so we've got a little bit more space. Um, so P or not Q, we know we have an OR symbol. So let's go ahead and make an OR symbol. And to get that, we have to get a P. So I'll go up here and grab a P. And then we have to have a not Q. So to get that, I'm going to take and make a junction with the Q. I do that by adding a little dot here. And then I come over here, I put a not on it, and I connect that up to our OR. So now we've got not Q, oops, not Q, and or P. So the last thing we need to do is to get our signal here for P, or not P, sorry, this should be in parentheses, not P and not R. So um, it's an and, so, um, but before we get to the center, we have the not of that entire statement. So let's do uh, the not first. So if we take the not of something, then we're left with uh, the original statement. So because I'm kind of running out of space here, I'll just show you this is P and not R. Um, so from there, we have an and statement. So I put in an and, and this and comes from P, and then we've got a not R. So I need a not R, and because I've kind of run out of space, I'm just going to do a squiggly line here that goes all the way up to uh, that and. So now we can shuffle this around so it looks a little bit prettier. But uh, ultimately, this gets us the correct circuit. So we know that wherever we have a dot connecting two lines, those two lines are effectively connected. But lines that just crossed over each other, we assume are not connected.